Hey guys, so here we are with episode 12 of Angel, and in the last episode, um, Jeremy Renner was in it, and basically, um, Angel, it was his sire, and he was going around killing a bunch of people, uh, and he was doing it near like Angel, so Angel was getting these visions. At first, he thought he was the ones that he was the one that was committing these acts, um, but he wasn't. They figured out it was him. Um, Jeremy Renner's character, I can't remember what his name was. I don't even remember what the character's name was. Anyway, so the detective, uh, Kate, she worked alongside Angel to capture him. It ended up being that they killed him, but. Kate ended up figuring out who Angel really is um, and about vampires and all that. So I'm really curious because it seems like she doesn't really want to work with Angel anymore. I, I, she may have even said that. I don't remember. But I'm really curious if she is um, going to want to know more information about demons and whatnot. I think so. I think there's going to be another case that involves some sort of demon like activity or something and then she's going to go to angel for assistance or something uh is my prediction i don't know if it's going to be in this episode or what i don't know why she's not a part of the intro or something because she seems like a, a main ish character um maybe she'll be in the intro later but um anyway we are halfway through this first season and it is so good i like it so much i think this one more so suits my personality than Buffy does not saying I don't I you know I love Buffy but I think my personality fits along with the with this show more um but yeah anyway so I'm loving it uh if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next ones please feel free to check out my patreon and the link in the description below but yeah let's go ahead and jump into this episode yeah I have a roommate but it's cool I never see him oh hey, hey, Dennis Phantom Dennis put that back he seems like a good ghost, though. Sick with envy. Hi, I'm Serena. Uh, nice axe. Oh. <laughs> no, this old thing. I. Oh. We're late. Christopher Wilson. Wilson Christopher. No. The ethnoarchaeologist from Brandeis. The fashion photographer from LA who's been seeing <laughs> Cordelia. Third uh, time's the charm. We've been seeing someone. I saw How come first. I have a mouse? Because I'm ashamed of you, not to mention how you'd embarrass me by giving him the third degree. He, he is becoming like a older anytime. brother to Cordelia. You're a sucker. Uh, um, Cordelia, uh, grab that file with all sorts of evening type. I like how she just like, boom, out. hits the floor, but they, <laughs> because like, I know she's having a vision, they're just like, oh, okay. Oh, I think I may be busy. Besides, um, I don't. Um, uh, it probably has something to do with the <laughs> club or something. Good one. Oh yes. No, he's uh, he's no lounger. This one. Mm. Not that an evening alone with word puzzle isn't plenty exhilarating in its own right. Right. Uh, do you want to get your ex in the wall? Oh, he can't get in. Cowards! <laughs> Don't make me thresh it out of you. Where do you lay your eggs? <laughs> in the cellar? Wesley. In the bedroom? Yeah, that's right. Turn How are they not frightened? Anywhere, such as next door. How? I don't... They're so chill. Like, what the hell? Someone just busted into their freaking apartment. They're just, like, chill. They're sitting there. Well, she's had a lot to deal with. I mean, Doyle's death, inheriting his vision. She's young. She's uh, still trying to find her way in the world. Ah, but we're not in the world. Demon hunters like us have a higher calling. He's got some oh. sort of gunk, like... Still bored. Well, what he's not. So, you left Sunnydale and you came to L.A. Oh, it's this guy. Like? Skydiving without a parachute. <laughs> Except for the smashing your body to bits part. Serena's really something. I'm gonna send her flowers for introducing you to me. 
I knew that. <laughs> Do you see the <laughs> hint of like jealousy that she God, got? For the first time I like LA. Wow, I'm living life. Look at me. Look at you. Oh, he's smooth. And for driving me home and listening to my entire so, life story. <laughs> is the ghost going to do something? I think I may have left out a couple of weeks in early 1987, but... I, I had a great time, and you didn't talk too much. And I want to know everything about you. Are you coming? We all know what that means. You know that the ghost is going to end up doing something, though. Nice. That was a yes, I think. Wiring? Oh, buildings. Well, no worries. Besides, I he doesn't want her seeing like people? Does he people. like her? He's gonna turn off the music. Hey, that's... <laughs> some or he's people. messing with it. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. The wiring. I feel like he's still gonna do something. Oh, maybe not? Yeah, that or Dennis like went inside him. I could see that. Oh no. What? So her so the guy was a demon, I'm guessing. No. I haven't talked to anyone. I mean, what is she supposed to say? Yeah. What's she supposed to do? Time. I think you left something at my place. Mm. <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of it. The number you have reached has been disconnected. There is no of course it has. Aww. He's such a good ghost. <laughs> Disconnected, no unlisted numbers, no forwarding addresses, no criminal record. Well, what about her that's friend? Something. Her friend's the one that introduced them. Procrea parasitic demon. They travel in packs. The guys have the money, the girls have the pretty. The girls decide what clubs to flavor the month, and Serena rules the girls. Thanks. So you the boyfriend? No. I'm family. Aww. That's what I was saying. He's like an older brother. Do to you know her. what it is? Boy, Boy or girl? Or girl. Shouldn't be long. Oh. Hmm. Looks like somebody's having twins. Twins? Oh. No, there's a third heartbeat. Third? There's another one. Five. Four? Five? Six. Serena? Leave it outside. Serena, it's Is Angel. she pregnant too? Cordelia's friend. She's pregnant too, isn't Can she? I come in? Okay. I'm telling you, that's what's gonna be with her. She's gonna be pregnant too. You know what you're thinking. I shouldn't, right? Cause she's pregnant. It'll hurt the baby. Yep. What I say? Five, four, oh, three, oh, no. two, one. One. Doctor Wasserman. Oh, is it boiling? <laughs> This is, um... Was it, like, acidic? Excuse me. Cordelia. Do they look healthy? What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> and then Wilson wanted to meet Cordelia. And I don't know. I wonder if the third girl is pregnant, too. I knew something wasn't right. Their money... It what about their money? It's stupid. It kind of smelled. It's all going to work out. You'll see. Everything's going to be just fine. Oh, I know it will be. There's a brave girl. Uh, I'm sure Angel won't mind if you rest She's acting so weird. Just relax. There's seven of his children growing inside of me. Why is she acting so weird? They're talking all at once. I, I can't understand. I know how difficult this must be 
see if you... No! You don't know. Right. True. He don't know. You don't know what it's mm. like to be a partner in creation. I, I, I just uh, went... Yeah, so he's real weird. <sighs> Wesley. Yes? They're not human. No shit. I imagine that's true. Then we'll need to know what to do once they're warned. Yes, well, it must have Did she leave? That. She left. Of her even she? surviving. Oh. Oh, she's drinking blood. I don't think I've ever realized just how disgusting that was. She told me all about you. Somehow, I doubt that. Oh, damn. You're then you can't be the father. I'm not telling you anything. Yeah, I was so hoping you'd say that. Oh, shit. I love it when people think that they can fight against him hey. or against vampires. Mm. Someone's mummy didn't teach him to play nice. That's right. We mustn't lose hope. Oh, shit. You're not gonna hurt my babies. <coughs> They should have had more than just Wesley keeping an eye on her. Yep, there's the other two. Damn, that's a lot of women. How does Cordelia know that? It's, it's the telepathically linked to its unborn. That's how it's controlling Cordelia. Of course, a psychic umbilical cord. The Axel's telepathic connection is sustaining its unborn spawn. That's all we have to do is cut the cord. We slay this <laughs> demon and poof, no more evil pregnancies. Well, this is but how do you cut the cord? We can end this without harming the women. Oh, just one how? tiny problem. What's that? I don't wish to use the words impossible to kill, but fire won't kill it. Decapitation won't. And it's really huge. When they say really huge, like how big? Please come before. Uh oh. That big. Gotcha. You. As a heathen, I wouldn't expect you to be familiar with the biblical story of David She's and Goliath. Gonna, like, but I assure you, it's of particular relevance to this situation. Before I engage them in mortal combat. Do you, uh... Have any weaknesses? Do you have any <laughs> hobbies? Enough talk. Hobbies. I'll come to you. Oh, nice. I really hate dating. <laughs> I'm fine. I had this great audition today for Max Cracks, you know, the little crackers? That's terrific. Yes. Because, I mean, a cracker so she's is something going you know everyone back to can eat. eat. This producer Normal. was so nice. He said that I'm his first choice. We're going out to uh -huh. dinner tonight. Already? I learned that I have two people I trust absolutely with my life. And that part's new. Uh, is he crying? Uh, allergies. <laughs> oh my god, Wesley. Uh, Ah, uh, oh man, this episode. Uh, like, I think, you know what? I think her and the ghost in her apartment would be super cute together, actually. Like, I'm just picturing, you know, the, the I don't know if you have seen Ghost Whisper, but when her, okay, this might be spoiler alert, but when her husband dies, he, like, ends up being a ghost and he just goes into a different person's body and then they get back together that's kind of what i'm envisioning for this type of situation like maybe he can like possess someone else or get into someone else's body and then they'll be together or something i don't know i think that would be super cute but he's so sweet to her and everything it was so cute but anyway um, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.